Hi everyone, welcome back to Return of the Nerd. I'm Gary with no voice. Oh my god. Yeah, I got uh, Tourette's and I lost my voice. Hmm. Uh, Annie! We got Annie, little, little slave boy. Oh, am I allowed to say slave? Oh no. Not allowed to say slave one. No. I'm Anakin and I'm a person. Mm -hmm. Let's rename him An An Anakin Starship. Okay. Uh, we also have Padme in dis in disguise from the Phantom Menace. Mm. Okay. So lots of Phantom Menace uh, figures coming this year because it's the 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Now, as far as uh, Hasbro is concerned, we've had like literally nothing on our lists for. Mm, recently, no. Well, the whole of the 2024, so January and February, now we're into the first week of March and we've had absolutely n n subtle. Um, just these two. Just these two and the Rex helmet, right? So, oh. yeah, um, and there's that one wave of TVC which I'm not going to buy because... But not yet, not it hasn't, not. It hasn't come out yet, yeah, we can get it if we want to, but... To be honest, I'm, people are only interested in Count Dooku. Count Dooku. So the other three are peg warmers. I don't see the point. Um, I wanted to talk about Hasbro today. Oh, Actually, news. Queenie doesn't know what I want to talk about. <laughs> She's just here to help me with my voice. Um, yeah, so recently we had news from McFarlane Toys. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do a collab, a collaboration with Hasbro. I just yeah. want, yes, but I'm really. I'm just let me just read what it is because it says it's called Page Punchers, um, and they're comic books which have toy products. So it reminds me of Dark Horse Comics back in the late 90s and, and early 2000s, mm -hmm. where you get a comic book and then you get two 3.75 Star Wars figures in the bubble, right. Oh. So it might be like that, and they said basically they have two sizes. One is uh, I think it's three inches, and the other one is seven inches. Seven, very tall. So there'll be uh, comic books, I guess Star Wars comic books with action action figures included. I don't know if it's going to be on a bubble like the Dark Horse mm -hmm. comics. I'm, I'm not sure, but anyway, but it's kind of weird that um, McFarlane and Hasbro are like getting together. Because they are big companies and they are sworn mortal enemies. It just, I think it indicates that Hasbro really are completely lost when it comes to Star Wars. Um, <laughs> and they're losing a lot of money. money yes. Yeah. And I think that um, trying, to, trying to figure out why it is that Hasbro is doing so poorly right now. Um, and I have did some research, which I think some people will already know, which is common sense. Um, in order to, for Hasbro to manufacture and and sell Star Wars merchandise, they need to buy a license from Disney. Mm, yeah. And that you can imagine how much that costs. Um, I can imagine. <clears throat> I found an article, and I'm going to read the summary of the article, not the whole article, but it says Hasbro needs to pay a minimum guarantee to Lucasfilm stroke Disney over the past uh, over the past two decades that guarantee amounts to at least 730 million US dollars Hasbro also has the has to pay royalties on top of that money they have to pay royalties uh, royalties were 18% for a long time but then in 2015 Disney increased the rate 20. to 20% because I guess uh, the new sequel sale. had come out and they thought that they could make more money. Um, so 20% of net sales, which is higher than Hasbro's operating margin, which is usually something between 11 and 15%. Next point. All things considered, Hasbro has paid well over a billion to Lucasfilm Disney in the last 21 years. Probably about $1.5 billion. Dollars. Yes. Uh, Lucasfilm Disney is the owner of everything. This, this point makes me laugh. Ready? Lucasfilm Disney is the owner of everything, everything Hasbro designs and creates for Star Wars. So if you work in Hasbro, mm -hmm. all of your software, all of the designs that you make on the computer, 
the the digital face sculpts, mm -hmm. the the packaging, the let's say the TVC, the card backs, you know, the 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 the, the, the pill boxes and the Stakana style mm -hmm. that doesn't belong to Hasbro. Oh, that belongs to Disney and Lucas. So if Hasbro at some point just put their hands up in the air and went, okay, this is this is impossible. We're not going to ever make any money. Um, if they decided to like, we don't want the license anymore. If another big company came along and mm -hmm. gave the money to Disney and said, we'll do it, yeah, then they have the right to use all of Hasbro and Kenner's packaging and de and designs from, mm -hmm. from, from previous years. Kind of funny, right? Not only <clears throat> So after reading this, I feel it's kind of a very one-sided... Um, relationship all the power belongs to lucasfilm and disney and hasbro um i know hasbro is a big company and they do make a lot of money from their other products but as far as it goes you know if it's, if, if if they need a license from from disney to be honest my own opinion is it's just not worth it um so i don't know what's going to happen because if hasbro Hasbro is massive, right? Mm -hmm. It's a yeah, multi-billion no. dollar global organization. And if they can't, if they don't have the ability to work with this Disney and satisfy Disney's, uh, you know, need mm -hmm. and all the criteria, then who who else can? I mean, there are other big companies like Mattel, McFarlane, blah, blah, blah. But if Hasbro can't do it, then what's to say that any other big corporate entity can do it? Because the, you know... The, Everything seems to be on Disney's side, mm -hmm. and these companies are not really even given a fair chance to make money. Mm -hmm. Their profit margins are so small. small, right? So then, and then it gets smaller every time you go down the supply chain. Mm -hmm. So Hasbro's not really making any money. So why would the suppliers be making any money? Why are the the retailers aren't making any money? Everyone's getting screwed over. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I would just say don't buy. I mean, this sounds really extreme, but. I'm just getting to the point now where I just tell people don't buy anything from Disney anymore because they're too greedy. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and I often think about, well, what's to stop me from, because we live in Taiwan, right? Mm. We're on China's doorstep. This is where, this is the manufacturing hub. If, if I wanted to approach a factory in Taiwan for um, a plastics company and say do you do uh, you know um, what's it called in uh, plastic uh injection mold like like 3d right yeah so that would be very very easy i'm just gonna have to start the video because of uh, queenie's phone okay we are back right the second point i wanted to make was um uh aliexpress has been churning out bootleg ah. uh especially clone troopers um, because they they like they realize that there's a market for there's a gap in the market because people want to army build and mm. uh, they can sell they can manufacture them and sell them at a much cheaper price mm -hmm. um, these companies I imagine have close links to the factories that actually produce the real black series and um, because the quality of the figures is getting better and better, better and it's, no. it's almost as good as if not better than the black series themselves not and um, hasbro is also losing a shit ton of money to um these companies these bootleggers who sell on aliexpress and alibaba um and it's weird because hasbro just seemed to just turn a blind eye and do nothing about it i don't understand so i was just went on i went on reddit <clears throat> and someone's actually posed the questions and it says here the problem is you need to sue them in China uh, the courts are known to be very unwelcoming to foreigners and foreign companies both in the sense that they are difficult for non-Chinese to navigate legally but also innate prejudice against non-Chinese lit litigants uh, companies that have had success uh, they what they do first is they form a Chinese based uh, company first mm -hmm. a subsidiary mm. and then they and then when that's established they use that Chinese company to sue so then it's a Chinese company versus a Chinese company and they've got more more of a chance of being listened to yeah um, it says the process is not easy and uh, 
I don't know, like, it's weird because Disney's such a powerful company, but they don't seem to care about that, do they? But that, but what I've just said in the first part of the video is, why would Disney care after they, after they fleeced Hasbro of all that money? Why would they give a crap anyway? Mm -hmm. Disney, why would they bother to spend resources going after bootleggers in China? Because it's no skin off their nose. Mm -hmm. It basically affects Hasbro. And from Hasbro down, right? It doesn't affect Disney, though, you know. Um, so yeah, that's a weird one. Um, and again, I was thinking, well, what's to stop me and Queenie? We live in Taiwan. There's loads. This is like made in Taiwan. Most of our Kenner action figures were made in Taiwan during the late seventies and early eighties. All right, so we have a massive. Yeah, we have a massive factory hub here as well. Plastics industry is very well established. It's 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 cost effective. Um, what's to stop me from getting a massive group of people together, buying the license from Disney, and then? Wow, no, not uh, true. I know, but or, or not or, or not buying the license from Disney and just doing what the bootleggers do and just approaching a a businessman in Taiwan and saying like, I want to make. Um, these Black Series AliExpress style action figures, um, how much would it cost? And then I just distribute them. What what can happen to us? Nothing, because no one cares. But the China, the law and the Taiwan is different. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying if, if, if in, in Taiwan it's the same as well, I mean, no one would be able to to take legal action against us it would be the same problem because in taiwan they have the same attitude towards foreigners and outsiders in order for, for someone outside of taiwan to sue a taiwanese company they would probably have to do the same thing as you know i'll first set up a taiwanese company then go to court and have your taiwanese company sue yeah, the other time yeah. it's the same process and there's no guarantee that you're going to win because you can rig the system here quite easily mm -hmm. All right, so you know Taiwan is not as transparent and honest as you think. Let's get that straight as well. I mean, I know China has is a is a different as a different kettle of fish, but you know Taiwan still is not like Western countries. Okay, things happen here under the table. You know, keep my eyes shut. All right, there. You know, I'll scratch your back, you scratch mine. I mean, it's not difficult to to set something up like that, is it? But uh, a lot of bullets all from uh, China in Taiwan. <coughs> Everything. I, I, know, I mean, I know that in Taiwan we can get bootlegs from China, but I'm saying what will be easier is you just make it yourself. But the Taiwan is all different. You think you'd get caught? Mm. Who's, Easy. Who's going to stop you? There is no... Dis Disney have no presence in Taiwan whatsoever. And and I don't think they care. Hasbro here are hanging on by the, by the fingernails. They're useless. MIT, you need to get a certificate. MIT, what's that? Made in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. Mm. So what if I didn't get a certificate? Are you, are you, uh, do you think that all the factories are... Your cost, uh, you buy from China more cheap. Yeah, but I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about the quality. Because I believe in, quality in, 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 in Taiwan, the quality would be much better. Yeah, right? that's but for you sure. need a license. And also, if we are running the company and we are in Taiwan, the geographical location, we don't need to fly all over the place and have people go check and do quality control and worry that, you know, are things being done right? Mm -hmm. Because you're actually in the country where the factory is. You can just visit it anytime, go in there, and you can expect, inspect what is happening and say, no, this is not right, or change this. But the cost will higher a lot. Yes. That's, that, that is true, yes. So again, is it worth it? Even even if you wanted to do something shady like that, is still financially, it's not worth it. Yeah, not cheap. MIT not cheap. <coughs> My MIT. I keep thinking of um, Massachusetts Institute of Technology and, and Boston. Can you just say made in Taiwan? Um, 
Yeah, so I think it's a big worry for the future. I don't know how long Hasbro can hang on to their Star Wars line because of the cost. Wow. I mean, they're just losing money. They lose money every year. They can't make money. Nobody, nobody can make money from 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 Star Wars. Okay, it it just it it's getting to the point where it's absolutely impossible. Unless you are you are a collector, you buy something, you keep it for a very, very long period of time, and then you sell it on the secondary market, and then you, they, these, they are the only individuals who make any damn money. But the now change the design team. That doesn't make any difference. The licensing is still the problem. Oh. Disney are fleecing Hasbro, they're overcharging them, right? They're, they're control freaks. They're like, everything that uh, Hasbro um, designs has to be triple, quadruple checked by Disney. And they're like, nope, don't like it, do it again. Don't like it, do it again. You know, and they're always trying to ha keep everything a secret. Oh, this media uh, the content didn't come out yet, so don't mention it. Don't, so if you can't mention something, how the fuck are you supposed to promote anything? Promotion is half the battle. If you want to sell a product and you're not allowed to promote it, you might as well just take a gun and shoot yourself in the face. So that's the predicament Hasbro's in. I'm not saying that Hasbro's perfect because we've had problems with Hasbro. They like really, they just seem not to care about um, adult action figure lines at all. They seem to just focus on, you know, the board games and the, and, 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 and the traditional the toys that bring them the revenue and the money. So I'm thinking to myself, well, why do you do it then? Just give it up. If it's that hard and Disney's giving you such a hard time, why don't you just quit? And then let someone else have a go and then they'll have the same problem and then we'll know it's Disney. Disney is the root cause of this. Everybody just stop. You understand? Mm -hmm. I just don't see the point in continuing. Mm. Especially since this year we know that um, last year was, an, was a really embarrassing year for Hasbro. They, they lost over a billion dollars. Their share, their share values keep dropping dramatically. And this year they've said that we're going to cut um, inventory by 50%. Mm. Disney, on the other hand, um, ha can't get their shit together because they haven't given us any dates of like when is the Acolyte going to be released and when are we going to have like any live action uh, movies or like they just can't promise anything and when, even when they do announce like for example during Star Wars Celebration or during uh, Comic Con conventions they announce stuff and then it they never they never ever but well, they they okay. never it never comes true right they keep changing it so that's why Hasbro always that's why Hasbro doesn't have a schedule you know they just mm -hmm. they just don't have one because Disney don't they're always trying to keep everything secret and their projects are continually um, ongoing you know not finished or they have you know the writer's strike or they've just mm. they fired the director or this problem Behind with some actor or and there's always some problem there some issue there and that has a that has a knock-on effect a snowball effect mm -hmm. and uh i think it's just too risky for companies to have anything to do with disney if they're going to behave like that mm -hmm. you know and these are adult action figures these are not for kids so i just don't know why the secrecy and everything is kind of uh, too cloak and dagger and too over the top i think it's silly you know so Disney gets to control the promotion, mm -hmm. but they usually promote something that's not even going to come out. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous, right? But then Hasbro can't promote anything at all, mm -hmm. and then and then it suddenly turns up on the on the wholesalers list, and we're supposed to buy it. We don't know. We've, anything. We've, we don't know anything. We've got zero information. It's just a joke. It's getting worse every year. So. I don't know, what do you guys think? Put in the comment section, where, what can, where can we go from here? You know, I'm an optimist. I am, I'm a positive person, but the more experience I have and the more I read into this and I research, I think, ah, this is, this is doomed. Lay it down. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's just crap situation. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully in the next one, my voice will come back. Yeah, Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and you know. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'll see you next one. May the force be with you. Bye-bye. See you.